Previously on Juliana and Bill. Now that we're pregnant, where we're gonna live takes a whole different meaning. The Rancics are moving again. Surprise! <laughs> what should we do with this, honey? <laughs> Did a bomb go off in here? I haven't been feeling well. That's probably a, a question for Dr. Kaplan. We were in the ultrasound room, and the doctor came in, and he's like, the baby oh. is gone. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I thought maybe you thought I did something. That's absurd. Have you never, ever been to a therapist? No. If he can't say to you, no, I don't mind waiting, then there's something wrong. If it's in five years, that's fine. If it's never, that's fine. It's your call. Thanks, honey. Maybe we should start thinking about trying to have a kid again. This is the most important thing that we're going to do in our lives. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get it. <laughs> this one doesn't work. We're moving on to other options. It's going to work. Oh, my God. Bill, something's wrong. Are you OK? Oh, my God. We're going to get some help. Ow. The doctors are concerned that she's losing blood and losing blood quickly. What makes me most nervous is there's nothing I can do. I love the way Side of the Northwestern Memorial Emergency Room, where we came a couple hours ago with Juliana. i would never seen her in that much pain in my life. Blood-curdling screams, just complete agony. And I knew I had to get her out of there and get her into the hospital. The doctors are checking her hemoglobin, her blood levels, and they're really low. So they're concerned that she's losing blood and losing blood quickly. So they're trying to determine uh, what's happening, why it's happening. Her worst nightmare is coming true right now. And what makes me most nervous is the unknown. We don't know. And I just pray to God that everything is going to be OK. After the egg retrieval, I didn't recover as well as I had hoped I would. I was actually overstimulated, which means the medicine just reacted poorly with my body. And afterwards, I got very, very sick. We got into the emergency room, and they put her through a battery of tests. I was hooked up to a million wires and IVs. My stomach was expanding and getting bigger by the hour. It was filled with fluids, and it was so incredibly uncomfortable. It was pushing against my lungs. I could, like, barely breathe. You know, with all the complications that occurred, the implantation, which was supposed to occur in the next five days, may not happen. And it's kind of a waiting game. We need to see what Dr. Kaplan has to say and whether or not we can move forward. We don't know what we're going to do because I'm in no condition. No. No condition no. to go back on a table. You'd be setting yourself up for failure. Right, no. Yeah. I'm in no condition to get the transfer right. at this point. It was pretty scary. It's tough. Yeah. It was tough. Yeah. Luckily, everything took a turn for the better, and the doctor said I could go home, so I was able to be discharged from the hospital, so that was great news. Okay. What a night, huh? Doctor's orders, you gotta have steak. He wants iron in your blood. So I'm gonna order you a filet, all right? He wants red meat because it's the highest concentration of iron in your anemic right now. He wants iron in the blood. I gotta call my mom, too. All right, just stay seated. Honey. I haven't told her anything yet. I you can't know? believe you didn't let me call her. Well, Bill, I didn't want to worry her. What am I going to say, Mom? I'm in the hospital. You're in LA. I'm in Chicago. You know, I didn't want to worry her and my sister. Hey, it's Bill Rancic. How you doing? Good. Can I put an order in for pickup? Uh, I'm going to do a filet, medium. OK, thank you very much. Bye. Great. All right, you're going to eat, and you're going to drink, because you got to have the fluids. i got to call Karen. Why? Because I got to cancel my trip, which I'm supposed to leave in two hours. Well, don't cancel for me, boo. No, 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 no. We got to do it. Kidding? It's not even an option. Hey, Karen. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cancel that event in San Antonio and try to find them a replacement. I will. You know, maybe I'll we see could. What I can do. I'll we make could. Some calls. 
Aww. Let him know that Juliana was in the hospital and that I've never done this in eight years, and hopefully I never will. But this, you know, obviously I have no choice. Yeah, no, I, they, they'll understand. All right, cool. Okay. Bye, Karen. Thanks. Thanks for coming to the hospital. Oh, uh, I hope you feel better. Thank you. Thanks, okay. Karen. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Karen. Yeah. Thanks. All right. How do you feel, though? Eight years, you've never missed a gig. Hey, if I'm going to cancel it, this is what I'm going to cancel it for, you know? All right, I'm going to go grab dinner. I'll be back in two minutes. All right, love you. Love. Hello? Mama. Mama. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, Chicago, Mom. Oh, ma, ho avuto una brutta serata. Okay, go Perché ho fatto che lo cosa, sai? E eh, non è chiuda buona, dovevo ir all'ospedale. Oh, 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 oh. Ok, hey Monica. What's going on over there? I feel so exhausted. Talking about this is not easy. So, luckily, my mom and my sister are both together, so I only have to tell the story once. But at least it's good to know that I have my family's support. I did the egg retrieval, everything was fine. I came home, I ate, and just like within about a four hour time period, everything just went downhill. Like nausea, hot, cold, like abdominal pain you can't even imagine in your life. Like I was screaming at the top of my lungs. Like Bill tried to pick me up to take me to the bathroom. At my back and top abdomen, like everything just started shaking, cramping. So we go to the emergency room and they're like, we need to take your blood to get your blood type for a blood transfusion. I'm like, what? So basically I had like internal bleeding. Oh my God. You know, Bill just got home. He went to get us food. Um, Bill, what is that? What caused this? What caused it was when they go in to get the eggs, they go in with a real long needle and they puncture the uterus to get the eggs out of oh. the uterus. And sometimes there's too much poking and prodding and that could rupture a blood vessel or cause bleeding. And my stomach is so distended. She had three over three liters of fluids in her belly. I can't even believe like I'm okay right now because 24 hours ago, it was unbelievable. She sounds okay. She's night and day, night and day. I'm calling my husband and ask him what he thinks of this. Ask him. I'll just email you the information. You got it. I'll call love you tonight. Love you, bye. Love you too, I love you too. Bye. Bye. All right. It's not fun. You had a rough couple of days. Never again. Can we agree to that? Never again. All right, let me take you to bed, honey. Uh, hmm. You're a good doctor. Thanks. You're a good patient. Uh. No shame. Hey, Good to see you. Come on in. Hi, Dr. Hey, Kaplan. How are nice you? To you? Nice Boys. to see you. Mwah. You know, a couple weeks have gone by since the egg retrieval, and Dr. Kaplan is going to come over and just give us a little peace of mind and just make sure that we know what we're getting into before we move forward. You look a lot better. I look better. I'm definitely feeling a lot better. It was rough, though. Great. It was rough, you know, but I mean, I guess it happens because I did a lot of research while I wasn't feeling well, and I saw that. You know, this is just one of those things that can happen with IVF. Right? Yes, I mean, it's a double edge. The, the, the beauty is that you stimulate it so well. And the downside to that is you stimulate a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. And patients get what we call ovarian hyperstimulation. You want to stimulate to get a lot of eggs to work with, but at the same time, some women respond so sensitively that feel terrible after the retrieval. But it's self-resolving. With time, it will resolve. Right. So you did a lot better this time than you did the first time. Yes, in fact, you got almost double the number of eggs. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, 15 eggs is a lot for someone even who's 32. Mm -hmm. Where do we go from here? The worst is over. The retrieval, the hard part, the shots every day, the, the procedure itself, that's done. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that, that, the, like, the next part's easy. Yeah. The, the actual transfer is Yeah, but from famous. a physical point of view, it, it is much easier, most yeah. crucial. Right. That it's the easiest. So I have a feeling that we're going to get a good outcome here, and it's going to it's going to last. I don't know why. I feel, I feel very positive too. I mean, yeah. I really do. And if you just look at probabilities, which Bill always looks at the numbers, yeah. the probability of the same problem happening twice in a row mm -hmm. is not a high number. Mm -hmm. Right. What are our odds? I think it's between fifty and sixty percent. 
I mean, we've definitely been doing a lot of soul searching, you know, lately since this happened. It is amazing when, when you miscarry. I think the whole experience really humbles you. Yes, it does. It just changes you, and it's brought us closer together. Yes. So I do feel like in all the sadness that there was a reason this happened. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that God does have a bigger plan. My thing is I just don't know like if I'm there yet and if I'm ready to do IVF again, the the actual transfer. How long do women usually wait before they do the transfer? You know, Julianne, it's a question we get all the time. When we get older, you've got time as not our friend. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, you want your body and your mind to heal before you do this. So I think prognostically going forward, we have a very good chance of this. Okay. All right, so we'll, uh, All we'll right. keep you posted, we'll Dr. You Kaplan. Posted. Juliana, at the end of the day, she's in charge of her own body. And when she said she wasn't sure if she was gonna go through the embryo transfer, I have to respect that. Whatever she wants to do, I'm on board. What a nice guy. He is such a nice guy. No, that was good. I think I, I needed to hear that. You know, the overstimulation. Mm -hmm. But I guess it can just happen. It happens, yeah. Listen, he, he feels good about the future, so it's up to you. And whenever you're ready, and, and if you're never ready, that's okay, but you've got to make that decision because it's your body. Right. I've just gone through so much. I mean, this whole process has just exhausted me physically and emotionally, but I got to do what I got to do. Do I want to do the transfer? No, but am I going to do the transfer? Yes, because I want to have a baby. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Where are we going to be for the bed rest? Where do you want to be gonna... for the bed rest? I'd like to be in the new house. We'll be in the new house. I've been to the house. Have you been there without a blindfold on? It's not ready. The house is... It will be ready. I promise you that. I I'm going to feel bad, though, in bed, honey, when if you're going to be moving boxes around me and I just am laying there like a couch potato. Well, you do that all the time anyway, so what, why is that any different than normal? You're making me mad. My nostrils are flaring. Please help me to warmly welcome Juliana and Bill Rancic. Only in Chicago, right? I can't hear you in the back. Now we're talking. Our new book is coming out, and we have to figure out how we're going to make this book a success. The book signing in Chicago was off the Amazing. charts. Seeing all those people at the signing proves to me once again how fantastic Chicago Best is. Best city in the world. I just feel very at home here. We had a lot of fun writing the book, and we really took you on our journey from the first date we went on when Juliana interviewed me for E! News to when she lied to me about her age. Come on, we all shave off a year or two, especially when you reach a certain age, so relax. So maybe we'll take a few questions. Go ahead. I was wondering, um, in your struggles to have a baby, have you ever considered adoption? At the end of the day, whether you, you, you have a baby through a surrogate or IVF, naturally adoption all that matters is you have a baby you know and you're gonna love this baby forever so bill and i are definitely open to, to everything you're cute you you want to be adopted <laughs> i'm looking for a daughter <laughs> Rabbi! What's up, my brother? Look at this, man. Look at this dump. I haven't seen it forever. I know, dude. It's been a while. See you. Come on. How you been, bro? Good to see you. You looking great? Come on in. I'll show you around. We're, we're in the home stretch. This is gorgeous. Lately, I've been under a lot of pressure trying to get this house done, and it was great. My buddy John came over just to show me some support. He wanted to see the place. I've known him for a long time. We go way back, go to a lot of Bears games together, and uh, just a guy who you can count on. This is a palace. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, a lot different than the house I thought I'd be moving into. What did you think you'd move into? I wouldn't have bought this place. I mean, I thought Julianne was going to be having twins. I know. So I went into panic mode. I bought this place because I thought, oh my god, we can't live in that little tiny condo right. with twins. Yeah, but, you know but, what I mean? but listen, you know what? You guys have, uh, have a, uh, the rest of your lives to fill this yeah. house up with kids. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I like the, the, listen, it's a good area. Right. I can send my kids to public school here. Yes, you, you know, can. If we have kids, God willing. I think that everything you've done, all the steps of your life have led you to here today, mm -hmm. you know? So. You're like a therapist. I am like a therapist right now. You. Yeah, please, I, mean, I, I only take my check. Clock right now? No, but I think it's true, though. If you really think about yeah. it, you created the city house, which was gorgeous. Then you created this very mod apartment. Mm -hmm. 
And now, you know, it's kind of the next step as you are thinking about having a family, and it will happen, knock wood. So to raise a family in this house is, you know, it's every guy's dream, yeah. I think, to have a, to, to provide for their family in an amazing way, and, and this, this is, this is a dream for every man. Yeah. So, no, uh, it's, so it's, you know. It's all right, it's, it's, it, it turned out all right. I'm glad you came over. I'm man. so this listen, is great. This is the great best, to see you. Please, it's the best thing I've done all week. Yeah, it's been too long. Yeah, I miss you, man. I've been I, living on the road, man. I mean, I just kind of threw myself into work and, and well, this place, and uh, it's been a rough, uh, a rough few months. The, the timetable is ticking on this. Yeah. yeah, I told her the other day. I said it's going to be done. Don't worry. You know, I, I assured her that everything will all be right. handled properly. Well, if so. you need me to get a hammer and nail, I'll I may I, need you. I can't yeah. tell you I'll know what to do with everything, but I'll certainly help in any way I can. I may need you on move-in day. Done, I'll help. Seriously. Done, let me Can know, you man. do that? Do, right. Please. You know Please. All right. To quote Stallone in Rocky Three, friends do because they want to do, not because they owe you something. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Hi. Julie. Hey, Dorothy. How's it going? It's going well. Yeah? And of course, you know I'm going to ask how it's going with you. I know. We had a little hiccup recently. How so? We did the egg retrieval and it went pretty bad. Did you have any side effects? It was horrible. Horrible. I was in the hospital. But stuff happens. What are you going to do? But it was really bad. Oh, it was horrible. You I had know. more than a little hiccup there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I know. It was more than a hiccup, I guess. Yeah. But now it's just a matter of doing the frozen transfer. Are you ready to do that? No. Am I ready? No. No. But. Am I going to do it? Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to suck it up and do it. I get the feeling a little bit that you try so hard to be so up. Right. Do you? Yeah. But how else are you supposed to be? Oh, Juliana, our emotions, our sadness, our anger, our grief, they're precious and they're dear. Yeah. No? I see what you mean. You're saying that you hope that... I can feel it sometimes and, and, and be show it. sad or be upset. Is you can what be saying. sad, you can be mad, mm -hmm. you can be happy, you can be glad. Right. We gotta get down in the cellar a little bit mm -hmm. to find out who Juliana is. I think so much of my identity is work related. Because I don't know if you strip away the work, I don't really know who I am. It's in us as human beings to need to create passion in our lives outside of the work life. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. That's interesting. It's gonna be a calm day. We got a lot of people here. Moving is one of the stressful, most stressful things that you can do. <laughs> You're lucky your wife's not here. That's I all I gotta say. The move is finally here. Juliana's back in LA working. I've enlisted the help of a couple of my buddies. And I really hope I can get everything done and finished up before she comes back into town. Watch the railing. Awesome. Thank you. I promised Juliana the house would be ready, and it will be ready. If it kills me, it'll be ready. It all needs to go. I got to say, it's a great feeling to see an idea actually come to life and getting this house so close to being done. It's spectacular. And I thought the pressure would be lifted a little bit, but it's not. The devil is in the details, and I'm a perfectionist, and I will not rest until everything is done perfectly. All right, we got to unpack everything now. I mean, we have time. You don't have to get this all done today, right? We do. She's going in for another medical thing, you know? So she's going to be on bed rest for four days. So and she needs a house. place, right. We're moved out of the condo. Are you? So the pressure's on. she wants this to go. I think she'd want these here. The clock is really running out, and we have a lot of stuff to get in this house and not a lot of time. And this is very important because I've got to get it done before Juliana's transfer. So it's going to come down to literally the last second. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it done. I'm going to be working all night. Is this everything? Do you, is there going to be more? I mean, there's got to be there's more. There's got to be more coming. It's going to be close. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. It's a gorge. Good, right? Wow. That's pretty unbelievable. From the outside, it's fierce. 
This is my first time seeing the house in quite a while and the outside looks great. I just really need it to be done inside because it's gotta be ready for our transfer. Okay, the doors, are you kidding me right now? Yeah. They're like Tuscany. Yeah. Those are huge. That's the size of like four doors. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. <gasps> wow, honey. Wow. I can't believe it's this gorgeous. <gasps> Last time I saw it here, there was like plastic oh, I, all I over remember. the place. I remember. It feels so homey. And oh, this is the kitchen. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so gorgeous. Yeah. This is like a dream kitchen. Yeah. This is so nice, these counters. Yeah. And look, the table looks so good. Yeah, it came out nice. This is so nice. This mm -hmm. is like dream kitchen. So, all right, let me show you the bedroom. Okay. There she is. <gasps> this is like what Grace Kelly's bedroom probably looked like. I don't know about that. Oh. Wow, this is really nice, yeah. babe. This is like a hotel room in France. <laughs> The bedroom is gorge. I am gonna be loving bed rest. You worry too much. Did you Did you really think I wasn't gonna deliver? Well, I wasn't sure, honey. I don't know. I'm just really excited about moving on to a new chapter in our lives. This is great. Feels good. I thought there was absolutely no way you could get it done in time for this week. It was very close, I will be honest with you. So are you hiding something? Like, no. Oh, uh, there's there like a big ditch under this bed or something it that is, hasn't been filled? No, it is done. I mean, no, we, now listen, we have to tweak it, but it's very livable. You know, we got to order some furniture, do some rearranging, but yeah. that'll take time, you know? We got to yeah. make the house a home. Welcome home, baby. Thanks, bro. Honey, I'm proud of you, seriously. Uh, Thank you for coming through and... Glad, glad it all worked out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is it. Yeah. Hey, this is it. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful office. It's beautiful. Hi. 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 The whole family's here. So today is the day. We are actually heading to Dr. Kaplan's office for the egg transfer, and it's very exciting. Our parents have been such a big part of this whole journey, so we thought it would be really important to have them there. And when we asked them, they were thrilled over the moon, so excited to be able to share in this with us. Yeah, we're, we're cautiously optimistic. I got a good feeling about this one. Mm -hmm. Are you guys going to be okay out here? Going to be all right out here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Tutto bene. Mom, did you bring prayers, sir? Tutto. Yeah. She brought all her prayers. So. <laughs> Everything. Ah, uh, excellent. Thanks. Yeah, not sure. Pray for healthy. Yes. We will. Yes. We will. But We're going to be out here so wishing all good uh, things. Uh, Pieni di um, salute. Healthy. We want baby. an NFL quarterback. NFL si. quarterback. <laughs> okay. Quarterback at the front. We want the quarterback. <laughs> 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 what about a nice, beautiful girl? <laughs> okay. We'll we'll be be right in, Eileen. Here we go. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. We're okay. gonna be. Okay. Back in Julian, eh? Bye. 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 We get so many good Bye. thoughts Bye. and good wishes. Bye. Okay. Bye. Yeah. I love you. Bye, Bye. Mom. Bye. Bye. We are gonna see you again, right? Yeah. We are yes, gonna see yes, you. Yes. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, Those I know. Sure. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, All right. Yes, yes, yes. All right, sweetie. Two. All right. Definitely nervous, but I'd say much more excited than nervous at this point because it's like the last step of this very long process, and it's finally here. All right. Ciao. Next time we you. see you. Ciao, ciao. Very pregnant. Bye, babe. <laughs> love you. I love you, too. Love you. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. ciao, ciao. Time it seemed we were trying to double the American dream. Nothing ever satisfied. In all that distraction, was it so hard to see that hey, you're mine, you're mine. This is it, baby. It's a beer, buddy. Tutto bene, yeah. tutto bene. Yeah. Come I know, I don't know why I feel so emotional. I know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. When she go through before, I think that like, yeah. of course we yeah. worry now then I yeah. wish everything no. is okay. No make this. I know. Okay, hold on. I know, hold on. <laughs> yeah, no. I know it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna it's gonna take. Okay. Robert's gonna check your lining. Okay. 
My belly's a little big today. I've been eating a lot of Mama DePandy's pasta. Yeah. Right Her bladder's up. nice and full. It does? It does? Yeah. Up here. yeah. See how it's this full. This is the uterus right behind it like this. Okay. And then this is the lining where we want it to go. So perfect. Perfect looking line. Just really? Like should look. Yeah, Thick? It looks very good. On a scale of 1 to 10? Nine. 9. I'll take I that. Don't give anybody a 10. I'll take that. Excellent. Okay. Awesome. Right? Yeah. They're oh, going to make such love. wonderful parents. Can you think of two better parents? August. 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 Yeah. That's right. That's good. Okay. That's good. That's a good month. All right. Is it game time? Game time. Okay. All right, baby. Here we go. All right. We're all ready. All tap. There's one little embryo right uh. there. Okay, very happy. Uh, Dr. Kaplan's God, happy. God, God, God. Went smoother than last time. Uh, How did she? Okay. Yeah, okay. everything went. I went a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, it's good. good. Yeah. For you. One for me with autographo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just can share okay. that. Okay. okay. So that's it. Okay, describe that to me. What is it? Okay, here I'll, I'll tell you right here. Anything? I that's know. the that's arrow, told. and that's the spot. So they went in with this tiny little tube, and it went in, and then they. Shot the embryo in. Okay. And it went right there. Yeah. Looks just like Bill. Hey, it's only your meal. Tutto bene, tutto bene. Yeah. That's pretty exciting, okay. though. Yeah, no, it went well. So we're going okay. to be out of here in like 10 minutes. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ciao, ciao. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Uh, bene, bene. Già fatto. Già the baby go. Ah. Ah, la vita. Yeah. We are too sleepy. We are too cry. You son a very upset, says you get crying. <laughs> These are tears of joy. Yeah, you know what I mean? Girl. Definitely tears of joy. Hey. 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 hey, do you not fly? Do you stay? No, 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 no flying, no flying. Oh my goodness, no flying for how long? Until Friday. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Sorry, how are you? Fine, how are you? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Oh, it's wonderful. Fine. That value really uh, working its magic on you, girl. It is. You get a little snoozy, you know? Yeah. After the embryo transfer, I was just wiped out and I needed to be in bed. And even though it is a relatively simple procedure, it just, it totally takes a toll on your body. And Bill just felt like I needed to get in bed and just relax. You just have to chill out, get some sleep, and you're gonna just be weighted on hand and foot. It's good to be the queen. Huh. Maybe I'll do transfers more of. Yeah. I like this life. I bet you do. You did awesome today. Thanks, honey. If you need anything, just let me know. Do you think it went okay? I think it was a home run, and I think whatever happens, happens. We did the best we could, and that's all we can do. All right, wait, wait, wait. How are you going to hear me downstairs? Oh, I'll hear you. All, all right. right. Love you. Love you. Should we get a bell? Hilarious. I've always wanted a bell. ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding Well, Juliana's on bed rest. It's giving me a lot of time to get some work done, get the house organized, and plan a pretty cool dinner. 
It's nice that Juliana's parents are staying with us because they're actually helping me out and getting this house in order and getting things unpacked. So it's actually really nice to have them around. Gracias, gracias. I got a romantic dinner yeah. plan for Juliana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you go with Karen, you have dinner, you have fun in the city, she'll okay, take care of you. Right? Okay, that's it. Ciao, ciao. Hey, Juliana, Juliana in the bed. Juliana, but I'm bringing okay. her dinner in bed. I've got a chef okay. coming in to Thank call. you, thank you. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Good. Bye, bye. Okay. One or no, Ted, one or no, Ciao, ciao. Well, Juliana had a full day of rest, and I decided to do something a little bit special for her. You know, I wanted to surprise her. So I sent her mom and dad downtown for a nice dinner, and I brought my buddy Robert in, who's an amazing chef, to help me prepare a gourmet dinner for her. Hey, hey, what's up, dude? how you doing? How are you, brother? Good, Good to see, see you. Man. Everything cool? Yeah, how you been? You ready to make some uh, amazing some food? food? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I've got, I've got pasta, I've got salmon, I've Wonderful. got uh, dessert. She's gonna go crazy. Well, I've got some extra knives and I got an apron for you. All right, great. All right, I'll let you get started. I'm just gonna go check on her. And then... Okay, I'll get settled in. All right, medication time. Hold on, honey. I'm talking to Pam Cole. It's way past. Hold on, when put you're in the speaker. To take this. Hold on. The doctor was very clear with me, you gotta take muscle relaxers every so often. Not because I need to relax at all, I feel fine, but it's just so that your uterus stays relaxed and that helps as far as, as the embryos implanting, that definitely helps. PK, tell her she's gotta take her pills. No, okay, first off, she's can I tell you? She's an hour and a half late. But if I do it now, don't you have a surprise for me downstairs? No, I'm gonna okay. be all drugged this up. Is, it's only a half a pill. I want a surprise downstairs. I know, Bill has some surprise for me. What is it? I can't tell you that. All right, she did it. I did it, yay. <laughs> All right, I gotta get to work, so. No, where are you going? Love, I'm going to finish your surprise. Capiche? Yeah, capiche. I'll be back. Hey, hey, looking good. Just getting set up here. What do you think? I like yeah, it. Yeah, just your size? I'll work some for waist thing. I don't know if you've ever seen this trick before, but. Mm. There you go. You're good to go now. I'm ready. <laughs> we're, we're just gonna kind of throw it together. Yeah, let's do it. Kind of hit it. Get a little yeah. color. Just hit it with a little bit of salt. Yeah, perfect. I will bring her down, my man. Awesome. Well, well done, well See done, brother. So everything was complete. The soup, the salmon, the hummus, the dessert. It's our first romantic dinner in the new house. Bellissimo. I'm happy and I'm proud and I'm glad we're able to get this done. All right, what's going on down All here? Right, here we go. What's the big surprise? Mm -hmm. Are there people here? Because I don't look cute. Wow. Oh, look. You know my buddy, Rob. Hi. Hey. How, How you are doing? you? Nice to see you. This nice is a nice surprise. Yeah, well, you know, thought I'd help him out. Oh my God, are you kidding me right now? Yeah. That looks so good, those brownies. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thanks. I was so shocked with what Bill put together for me. The food smelled amazing. The table looked gorgeous. It was just perfect. You know, bon appetit. You like that, guys? Yeah, thank you All right, so cool. much. Enjoy. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Fantastic. Oh Mm. This is not a joke. No. Wow. This is nice, Boo Boo. Yeah. This was very thoughtful of you. I should be preparing you dinner. You're the one who finished this whole house and made it look so beautiful. And we finally have a home that we're going to live in forever. So thank you, honey. Oh, I did it for you, my love. I'll always have faith in you from now on. And I feel good about it. I think that this time is going to work because we're finally settled. Whatever happens, happens. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with either outcome. If it doesn't work, then that was what was meant to be, and you know, we're gonna move on. And our lives are still gonna be fine. I love you. Oh, I love you. And I know it's gonna work. I do, I, I feel good about it. <sighs> good. My body feels settled. Yeah, you look at peace. Yeah? Yeah. Who is that? What's that noise? Oh, oh no, my parents are home. Oh God, it's kinda getting nice. We're gonna... Don't they use the doorbell? Hey! Hey! bene, come va? Bill, send them uh, upstairs. All right, we'll go enjoy, relax. It never fails. We're in the middle of this beautiful, romantic, gourmet dinner that we prepared, and Juliana's mom and dad decided to come home a little bit early. But it's been fun having my parents here, huh? It's been great. Maybe they should move in with us when we have kids. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever you want. Would you let them move in? That'd be great. Right. 
was like, you don't, you don't look like you mean it. No, I do. They could live upstairs in the top room. When you need them to move furniture or take the trash out. What is Mama DePandy doing in here? She's ruining our romantic dinner. <laughs> Look at her, look at her. <laughs> Mom, we're having a romantic dinner. You finish? Hello again. Go to bed. Mom. Hey, go. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can hang for a minute. It's okay. She just took her medicine. She's good. No, I want to be able to bed. Come on, Juliana. Okay, Mom. I'm going in a minute. Okay. Mom, you know? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, Mom, love you. Dude, you want to have your mom live here? Why, you mind that? Just, no, I'm just bringing, making a point, that's all. Ding. All right, babe, I got to get you to bed. Thanks again, boo-boo, this was nice. And thanks for building our dream home, honey. That's all going to be worth it. Build it. And they will come. And they will come. <laughs> I'm so full, honey. Oh, that was delicious. All right, guys, love you. Love you too. Love you. I miss you. I know, I miss you too. Oh, see you, Ciao. Bye, okay. Dad. Ciao, thank you for Thanks everything. Thanks for all the dinners and uh, no, no, thank you for everything. Take care of yourself. We want to make sure that everything's OK, OK? OK. Don't worry, OK? I know, I know. Okay. I'm OK. OK, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was great having my mom and dad in town for the embryo transfer. It was just really nice to be able to share that with them. Them interrupting my romantic dinner, not so much, but everything else they did was great. And it just put me at such ease having them here. Okay. Ciao, bye. ciao. Love you. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Manja, manja. Okay, see, manja, see. manja. Eat, eat. Eat, eat. That's all they care about. Love you. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Coming. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Earlier today, we went to Dr. Kaplan's office so that I could give blood to find out if I was pregnant. Hi, Dr. Kaplan. Juliana, how are you? Hey, hold on one second. I'm here with Bill. Hold on one second. Hey, Dr. Kaplan. Hey, Bill. We were so excited to get the call, and the call came in, and the words, uh, you're not pregnant, you know, came through the phone line. And I was like, what? I mean, I was so sure we were pregnant, it wasn't even a question in my mind. I just can't believe that after everything we've been through with the emergency we had and everything, to just come out of this with nothing is just a kick in the stomach. I've completely lost faith in the whole process. So, I don't know. I don't know what the next step is. I really don't. But for now, I think we just need to be sad for a little bit. So how are you feeling, honey? I'm always trying to overanalyze everything. And after Dr. Kaplan's call, we still really don't have the answers. Sometimes you just can't figure it out. There is no answer. Let's enjoy life. Let's have fun. Let's not even think about it. And that's when things are going to happen. Actually, it goes back to what the therapist is saying. We need to start expanding our horizons, getting out there, and trying to find out who we really are, because I think in this whole journey, all we thought we were were these people trying to have a baby. We put so much pressure on achieving success, and, and that's not something that you want to do. I think we may need to make some lifestyle changes. It may require me moving to California for a few years, just to ease up your, you know, the traveling, because that's not easy either. You would do that for me, honey? Really? I mean, I, I'll do whatever I have to do. I don't want you to be unhappy. I don't no, want you to I'm, be somewhere. I'm happy anywhere. I mean, as long as I'm with you, I'm happy. We have so much to be grateful for. And I think, you know, gratitude is probably the most important gift we have. And, you know, I think we have to appreciate what we've got. I mean, we've got each other. Oh, I know. And that's the best thing you to know? do. Yeah. We can't base our happiness on whether or not we get pregnant. You know what I mean? That's not the way we're going to live. 
it's not healthy. Mm -hmm. I think we're happy and we're gonna, you know, at least I'm happy. I hope you're happy. Of course. I'm very happy. I wouldn't change our situation for anything in the world as far as being together. After I met you and we got married, my life has exceeded my dreams. That's nice, honey. You know, it really has. Mine too. So, I mean, I think life is gonna be good, and it is good. We can't base our happiness on one event in our life. Mm -hmm. That's true. And we've shared our story with everyone, and it is kind of amazing, like the amount of emails I get, and they're just so nice. Although this is a real setback, it's a heartbreak, it's a disappointment, this is just the tip of the iceberg for where we can go. I mean, there's so many other options out there that we haven't even explored yet. Whether it's surrogacy, whether it's adoption, we're gonna look towards the future, we're gonna uh, not focus on the past, and we're gonna get to where we wanna go, and no matter what happens, we have each other. The only thing I do know is that I don't know what the heck is gonna happen and what the future holds, but it's not like the movies where everything works out in the end. You know, this is real life, and it's just not going as, as we planned, but you know, eventually we're gonna get there. Listen to this one, honey. I've been following your journey to have a baby and I wanted to share the one that I am having. I know exactly how you must be feeling. It's a roller coaster. I want you to know you are not alone. It can be so isolating, particularly when everyone else around you seems to get pregnant. Come on. You got the drop of a hat, I know. Hold on. It's really sweet though, hold on, it's almost over. My husband and I have had such a tough year with it all and are praying for a little miracle to bless us. I hope this for you too. Anyway. Come here, baby, come here. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. I love you too. Remember, in the end, everything is gonna be all right. Remember, if it's not all right, it's not the end. Thank you.